In this video, we're going to discuss some of the pros and cons of buying a brand new home. And just know this, here the last few years in Metro Denver, home builders have been building right about 12,000 new homes a year and selling them. And so it's a popular option for people. And so here's five you know, pros about buying a brand new home. First off, you get a home that is up to date. You know, the floor plan is, you know, today's. It's not a floor plan from 20, 40, 60 years ago. So you get, you know, a much updated, because it's a brand new home, you get a home that may be more usable. Second, you know, the home is just typically beautiful. You get new cabinets, countertops, flooring, paint, everything is brand new and looks great there's a lot of glitz inside it looks beautiful number three is i know a lot of people love buying a brand new home because no one else has never lived in it number four sometimes you know right now the builders are quote giving a discount but it was only be really because they had raised their prices so much earlier okay and number five sometimes if you buy early in a new subdivision you may experience a lot of appreciation on your home you get in early because the builders control the market so they may have a base price starting now of six hundred thousand and if they can drive the market maybe in five years their base price is nine hundred thousand or a million so you may experience a lot of appreciation you know with a brand new home because the builders control the market but next i want to cover some of the cons of buying a brand new home the first con is almost always new homes are higher priced than existing homes. That's pretty much a known fact. Usually new homes sell for 12 to 15% more than an existing home. Number two, this is getting to some of the things most new home buyers don't realize or truly understand. First is window coverings. Your home, will not your new home almost for sure will not have new window coverings. So you're gonna be living in an aquarium fishbowl for a while. And just realize window coverings can be expensive. If you're lucky, they're just five to ten thousand dollars, but you could pay a lot more. Number three, you know, expense wise, is you're gonna to want to add a patio or deck. When I see my clients buying brand new homes, typically the patio is about six feet by six feet, you know, a little concrete pad. And everyone's gonna to wanna to add a much bigger patio or a deck. Well, those aren't cheap. Even, I know we built a 12 by 12 patio on a home, one of our homes up in Estes Park. It was about 10 or $11,000 a couple years ago. If you wanna do a deck, it's gonna be a lot more money. Fourth thing is your new home almost for sure will not come with a backyard. It will just be a pile of dirt and you'll be required by the homeowners association to put in a yard and landscaping and to also build a fence. And you'll easily spend just basic 10 to $15,000 doing that as well. So don't be surprised if in your first year of ownership, you may be spending absolute minimum 25 to $30,000, but many people pay two, three, four times that much in their first year of, of new home ownership. So you just gotta go into buying a brand new home knowing you're going to have to put out a bunch more money in that first year of home ownership. Fifth, you know, is, you know, if you buy early, you're gonna have new construction on your street and in streets nearby. And guess what that means? A, a lot of no, well, number one, a lot of noise, a lot of dirt and hazards. You may get a few flat tires on your car, but also if you have, especially young kids, there's hazards out there for them too. So it's just something to be aware of if you buy especially new, you know, new homes where they're just getting started in that neighborhood. Number six, you know, these new neighborhoods, very little landscaping or shade trees of where most of them are totally barren, you know, and they plant a tree, but it's not truly going to be a shade tree for you for 10 to 15 years. So how are you going to enjoy Colorado summers? You know, do you really want the hot blazing sun, you know, beating down on you as you try to enjoy your patio or deck? And so that's, you know, a downside of buying a brand new home is you will probably almost for sure not have any shade trees for a long time. I mean, in our home that's 30 years old, my favorite room in the house is our patio. Because I can sit on the patio in the summertime for about seven hours in the morning and four hours in the afternoon in the shade. And it's, it's awesome. I love it. That's why it's my favorite room in the house. Next is often the location of new homes is probably a lot further out than where you currently live. And so it may be okay, but then you also have to look at, okay, are there schools out there yet? Are there grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, retail? 
Sometimes it's there, but sometimes it's two, three, four years away. And you maybe go, oh my gosh, I'm not used to not having a King Supers or Safeway within a mile of my house because I may be five miles away. So it's just an adjustment you'll have to make sometimes with a brand new home. Finally, you know, if you buy a new home, almost for sure here in, in Metro Denver, you're gonna buy into what's called a Metro District. I've teach, been teaching a class on this for three years. And just know this with Metro Districts, those homes will always have much higher property taxes. Typically at least 50% higher than nearby homes uh, that may be built over 10 years ago. And what I worry about for some of my, you know, for some people who are buying a brand new home is next year, you know, their home may be assessed this year at say 700,000. I won't be surprised. There's going to be probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of new homeowners next year are going to be waking up to a $10,000 plus property tax bill. And so you just got to realize if you buy a newer home, you're going to have higher property taxes. And so you just gotta go in with your eyes wide open. And you know, I'm curious, you know, if you have more pros to add or cons, questions, anything like that, just text me. My number is 303-881-6374.